variety show. So my name is Jenny Shakeshaft and I am your host this evening. I'm so excited to have you all here. Thank you for tuning into this broadcast. Please make sure that at any point in time, if you're enjoying any of the content you see here or what you've seen previously, just push donate, PayPal button. There's a link in the browser. You can also Venmo us, Monument Dash Productions. And that helps support our entire creative community. I'd like to introduce you guys to some incredible performers and I am excited to announce them to the stage this evening for our night at the improv. Let's get a round of applause. <laughs> We're gonna take you into a little improv comedy hour. We've got a couple performers here uh, who have worked with the Groundlings, uh, UCB, if you guys aren't familiar, those are some big comedy troops out here in Los Angeles. And of course, our job is to improvise. Without further ado, our first performers for the Monument Improv Night. We've got... Hi, I'm Jenny Shakeshaft. Welcome to tonight's Monument Variety Show Improv Night. Welcome to the stage. Our second performer tonight, Clayton Ferris. Hey guys, what's up? My name's Clayton Ferris. I used to be an actor and a writer, but now I'm a sleepaholic and a professional chef. <laughs> What's up, guys? I'm Steph Barkley. I, oh yeah, you're supposed to introduce me. No, you're good, you're good. Okay, go okay. back down. I'm gonna introduce, go back down. I'm gonna introduce myself okay. again. Clayton, get out okay. of the Dang it. I hate myself right now. And welcome to the stage, Steph Barkley. Hey guys, I'm Steph Barkley. I'm a comedic actor and a director, and now I'm just making a lot of banana bread. Okay, those applause, you guys want to be at home. And last, but certainly not least, Koster Mohammed. Oh, hi everyone. <laughs> Before quarantine, my headphones were not stuck in my hair, and now they are. <laughs> hey. Actually, let me explain this game. So this game is called uh, The Last Letter. But uh, in this game, we are going to say a, a word and it's just a warm up for us really quickly. And the next person has to say another word with the last letter of that first word. So for instance, if I say potato, Steph would say owl. And Clayton would say laser. And Kelsey Rat. Would say, Oh yeah. Rat. Okay. So hopefully mm. you guys get it. We're going to start the game. All right. Cool. Here Ready. we go. Bottle. Elephant. Theater with an R-E. Razor. <laughs> oh, fuck you, Clayton. Fuck you. <laughs> well, if somebody's out of the game. Misleading. <laughs> Misleading. In that case, elephant. Okay? <laughs> Come on. Touché. What'd you say? Touche. With an E. With an E. <laughs> Exit. Uh, trance. Okay, yeah. now you guys have to you have to try to move a little faster on this round, all right? Okay. Yogurt. Fry. That's already too slow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um height. Eek. Cosser. <laughs> rab rab rabbi. <laughs> Interesting. God. Okay, I can't. <laughs> okay, game's over. So, this is our very <laughs> first improv show. You good? Yeah. <laughs> I made it. What kind of shit show this is gonna be. <laughs> All right, so our first game that we are gonna play is, uh, we are gonna do an online date based on screen names that uh, currently I'm gonna give you, okay? So let's go in teams here. We're gonna start with uh, Kouser and Clayton. I'm gonna put you two up, all right? And your screen name, I'm gonna pick one screen name and Steph, you're gonna pick one screen name for them, all right? Cool. And we're dating each other? You guys are on a first, like, you know, it's an oh. online date. Oh. You're meeting on Zoom, okay? Love it. Cool. Mm. I'm here. Um, all right, so Kouser, your screen name is Dirty Gun. Mm. <laughs> and Clayton, your username is uh, dance till dawn. Screen names are again, Dirty Gun, and what was it, Steph? Dance till dawn. Dance till dawn, and scene. Yeah. 
You look as good as your photo. I haven't seen another person in six weeks. I like that. I like that. I like it when my men keep to themselves. You know what I'm saying? Then you'd really like me. Yeah. I For saw me. in your. I saw in your interest that you like jellyfish hunting. Heck yeah, that's one of my favorite things. Wow. Last time I was at the ocean, I spent six hours. <laughs> What's so funny? What are you laughing at? Are you laughing at me? I just, I had to switch my screen because I was looking at myself. But now I see you and God, you're beautiful. I know. You don't need to tell me twice. <clears throat> tell me again. God, you're beautiful. <laughs> one more time. God, you're beautiful. I know. Shut up. You're talking about yourself. Oh my God. <laughs> Sorry, I haven't, again, seen a woman in over six weeks, and it's not because of quarantine. Uh, it just sounds like you had a no-hands orgasm. I did. It's understandable. I wish I had paper towels to clean it up, but I can't find it. <laughs> the store is sold out. Um, Sorry, I I'm, laugh when I'm nervous. It's okay. It's a common <laughs> trade. I do that to men. So dancing down, huh? Yeah, I feel like I can smell your armpits from here. You can. You probably read my bio that I make my own deodorant. Yeah, I love that. Employed. That's cool. Yeah. Are you, are you going to be selling it online? Um, depends. Are you willing to buy it? <laughs> Heck yeah. yeah. I have over 6 million bitcoins saved. Wow. Is that through all your dancing? <laughs> mm hmm <laughs> Wow. So... Oh, what's your favorite song to dance to? <laughs> Smash Mouth. Wow. Might as well be walking on the side. Uh, hey now, you're an all-star. Oh, Get your game on. Oh, God. God. I didn't know you had such great taste in music. That was not mentioned in your bio. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of things about me you don't know. Like? The mm. scent of my deodorant. I bet I can guess. Try it. <laughs> <laughs> uh rutabaga oh, fuck fuck <laughs> that was that right you were spot on man oh man <laughs> my last guy I broke up with him because he couldn't understand the sense of my arm he's like you just give me you just fucking give me I get you more than I get my own mother you don't have a good relationship with your mother no, it's horrible. Wow, that's a bit of a red flag for me. Please don't hang up. Listen, I'm sorry. I don't know if we can keep talking. Please. We never even got to talk about your guns. Wow. <laughs> you just reeled me back in, man. <laughs> oh, that was easy. Yeah, well, you know. Guns just get me, we should, and I get we, guns. Can we do this every day until we die? Yeah, sure, whenever I'm not selling deodorant and whenever you're not dancing. Which is never. You're never dancing or you never stop dancing? I never, I'm never not dancing. Oh, God, I got I just couldn't, I couldn't hear you. All right, well, maybe we could put some Smash Mouth on and dance together sometime. All right, let's set up another date for 10. <laughs> All right, I'll 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 bring my guns. And I'll bring my stench. Okay. Goodbye. Hope you just Hope you just for your pants and for me again. Oh, I Goodbye. definitely will. I just did. Okay, great. Talk, Talk later. Talk to you soon. Bye. Let's give them a round of applause. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Dirty gun and dance till dawn. Good job. That was one dirty ass date. <laughs> well, All right. Name like dirty gun. Okay, good. All right. So, uh, Kelsey gives me my name and Clayton gives Steph her name. All right. Uh, our round of our, our date online. Okay. Uh, yours is uh, Crazy for Cuckoo Puffs. Got it. Crazy for Cuckoo Puffs. And Steph, your name is Sweet Tater Pie. Sweet okay. Tater Pie. All right. Here we go. Sweet Tater Pie. Let's get a round of applause. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> this is so fun doing this. 
this is crazy. <laughs> this is so cool. I've never, I've never, oh, I've never done an online date. I like, guess this is really <laughs> exciting for me. With, you're just like, um, you're just like, a, you're like, remind me of like a Rice Krispie treat or something like that. You remind me of just like bounce around like a, like a pop up doll or something. You're fun. Yeah. <laughs> I can pop out, you know. Um, yeah. So, where are you from? Are you from, um, like, are you from somewhere, <laughs> like, in the south? Because your your name, very. Oh, I'm I'm from Southern Illinois. <laughs> <laughs> totally, totally, totally. That's really okay. cool. That's cool. Are you yeah, uh, into yeah. girls? Are you into girls? Are you into girls? Are yes, into I'm girls? very much into girls. I'm the only girl oh. I know into girls. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's so lonely here. <laughs> I've been, so I've been lonely. alone. <laughs> You know? There's just all these men around me on the farm, and and they they just think, oh, women just belong, you know, just milking the cows. And I'm just like, where's the ladies at? You know? Where are you going with them? Yeah, no, right here. I just wish you were here. <laughs> it's great to have the internet. I really love your your accent. It's very uh, <laughs> colorful. <laughs> it's colorful. <laughs> I think you're just a colorful rainbow. That's what you are. <laughs> well, I, I I you know. I'll tell you what, I've, I've got more cocaine in my fucking back room than you can imagine. And I just, I got nothing else to do. Are you, are you doing, you do drugs? Um, I've done some drugs before, made some mistakes, oh. and now I'm back at it uh, again, because I'm so lonely. <laughs> so cool. Um, <laughs> I'd be very much into doing drugs with you. <laughs> I would be love fun. that. I would love yeah. that. I would love that. Yeah. I, I don't, I'm not promoting that at all, though. I mean, you know, I don't, it's, it's just... I just don't have anything else sure. to do. <laughs> right. No, you know, so it's fine. You know, I think that, uh, I think that if it's done in moderation, you know, when you do ecstasy in moderation or you do PCP in moderation or, oh, you know, oh. it's fine. Oh, you are fun. You are just like a star bright starlight for a star okay, tonight. Look at you. fucking crazy. I'm like, that's it. I don't know if you saw my name. I don't know if you saw my name, but I put two things for Choco Puffs on there, and then I was like, I, that's <laughs> fucking probably too much, but I, like, did it anyways, you know? No, suck me right in. I, I, I think, oh, that's bold. You know who you are. <laughs> yeah, but I okay. heard that cocaine gives you strength. It does, and I gotta tell you, it gives you the sweats and, like, all, all kinds of stuff, you know? <laughs> <laughs> that's gnarly um but oh, yeah, anyway I, I i i'm so stoked and uh i'm happy that we're doing the full date thing and i think like you know maybe we could maybe we could get to know each other more later tonight later tonight over like a nice glass of wine and like a, an eight ball i don't know oh wow mm -hmm. i just tonight. feel like the cocaine just really sucked just started to kick in and it i just did. saw you on hyper speed that is so fun whoa i don't know where you're going i don't know what you're doing oh my god oh my goodness look at you you would be fun to hang out with. I'd never get bored. I know. Okay. Okay. You're all okay. All right. Bye. I love you. Bye. I love you. Love you. I love you. I, I do. I love you too. <laughs> <laughs>
Well, there's things that are made of you. <sighs> Yell it at me one more time just to make sure I heard your disrespectful mouth correctly. Try me. Try me. All right. Well, here's the thing. That dog was never yours in the first place. It was mine. It was never meant to be yours when Grandpa bought that home. So I just want you to know that the relationship that you have with your dog was because of me. So you're welcome. The way you talk cringe in my ears. At the very least, if you gave me anything, you gave me a dog, then fine, just go. I don't need anything else from you. Please. I, I just want to be back in your life, and, and I, I didn't, I didn't mean to come here and tell you things that were mean about your dog, or, or just that, that it didn't, it didn't belong to you. But it's the truth, and it's time you knew. And I just wish you were a little more appreciative of the fact that I kept you in my womb, and I kept that dog in my womb, and then I gave it to you. Everything I have is because of me. Everything you have is because of me. No, you. You need to stop smoking meth, Mom. You need to stop smoking meth. Okay, you can't have a dog in your womb. Everyone knows that. I think that you need to take a long drive. A long Where? drive, Mom. And just drive so you don't see the road anymore. Okay? You know what that means? No. I don't want to see you again. I'm going to bury myself in the grave with the dog. I'm going to bury myself in the dirt. By the dog. <laughs> don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. I've been there too. I've been there too. I, I wake up in the morning and I say, I'm going to burn myself next to the dog. That's how I feel. So can't we do this together? No. No, we can't. What if I get you another dog that are carrying my womb? Get out! Get out! I'm going to go drive to nowhere. Yeah, you do that. Oscars, the Oscars. Oscars. No, wow. no. That was intense. That was intense. <sighs> That's heavy. The, um, what, was it, what was the name of that film? Was it The Womb? Right. It was uh, yeah. three, build, three board, Billboards and... <laughs> it was Her Mother's Womb. Yeah, Her Mother's Womb. Yeah. yeah. My Mama's Womb. I love that one. <laughs> it was a great yeah. movie. Great film. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, okay, so Clayton and I are going to go next for our Oscar-worthy moment here. Uh, Steph, why don't you give us the genre and the scene, and then Kelsey, why don't you give us who we are, okay? Okay. 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 The genre <clears throat> is musical, oh. and it is um, circa 18, 18th century, early 18th century. Yeah, and then who are we? And and then Jenny, you are a royal in the town, and Clayton, you're the Joker. Okay. Um, and for yes. the court. Okay. Okay. How do All I right. name myself? Let's give a round of applause. And. Who? <clears throat> Go with there. Your Majesty, okay. sorry, I didn't see you come in to my private chamber. I was smoking. And I'm not wearing clothes. I'll see that. You're smoking and not wearing clothes in your private chamber without my approval. I always smoke in the nude, Your Majesty. Yes, it's um, Forgive partly me. why I'm here. Oh, you come calleth on me for a purpose. A purpose calleth you for reasons of which I must not speak, Dareth, I die. You're in trouble, Your Majesty. A lot of trouble. Oh. And I need your help. I'm just a low, lowly jester. A court lowly... jester with nothing but hilarious comedic 
timing and the ability to juggle multiple balls. Tell me a joke, please, before <clears throat> I cry in front of you. Times like these, <laughs> it's hard to joke <laughs> when Her Majesty <laughs> stands alone and alone broke. And broke. But for me, the jester, I surmise, <laughs> I'll cheer you up with just my eyes. <laughs> they always do that to me. <laughs> that always works that. for you, Your Majesty. Every time, it makes me so happy. But tell me oh. again, why are you in danger? Mark, I meant to tell you that there's something really, really bad happening. The <gasps> coronavirus is spreading and people are dying and I'm the reason. What? Me, I did it, I did it, I spread it. I went outside without a mask. I talked to people I shouldn't have talked to and in certain, in certain, I'm going to blame you. Me! Yes, you! And so you've always made me laugh and I really, really think you're funny. I cannot take the blame for this and so it's up to you, you little dummy. So let me get this straight. You started with the virus when you were a little girl. You went outside and spread it around to the Duke and Earl. And now to escape your horrid destiny, you're gonna blame ground zero of the virus on me. That's correct. Okay. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Your That's Majesty. exactly what I'm going to do. By the will of the law and the people, your bequest is my bequeath. Listen, I didn't want to do this to you, but I brought a gun with one bullet. It's not even real, but it is for Russian you. Russian roulette at a time like this. <laughs> yes, that's exactly what I'm asking, <clears throat> or I'll shoot you myself and blame you nonetheless. In the will of death and and see which one of us is left. <laughs> I've Majesty. always loved you, even though I'm letting you take the blame. I love you too, Your Majesty. Oh. <laughs> uh. There he goes, dying. And I will get away with all the lying. Not if it's up to me, cause my last major joke is that this bullet, this gun had bullets three. Bang, bang! Oh, oh, oh! Now who's ground zero, your majesty? Help me, I can't get up, but I've been shot. <laughs> All right, then <laughs> Solid, solid. I'm sorry we're going to act or not, but you know. It's, it's okay, okay style. style. So we're going to act out a scene based on a style uh, or genre of a movie, okay? And we'll do the same kind of thing. We'll do the setup and then go. So uh, let's see. Cosa I guess Tosser and I can go, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Clayton, you want to give us the style and then um, you can direct us. So you're going to be the director too. So we're like acting it out and you're the director in, in the okay. scene, okay? <clears throat> All right, so okay. what's our style? Okay, this is a, um, like a 1920s, like a uh, noir. <laughs> ah, yes. A noir. Yes, yes, okay. It's a noir So film. noir, okay. Kowser, you're the uh, detective. Mm -hmm. Jenny, you're the damsel with the problem. And action. Oh, I'm sitting here and I've got a major problem. Is someone at the door? Who's there? Yes. Hello. Detective Monroe at your service. Hello. My name is I'm... Clarence. And I've got a Hello. major problem. A major problem. Tell me, Clarence, why have you called me here today? Well, I don't actually know if I can tell you these things. Who exactly are you? 
Detective Clarence. Wait, Show me I that. saw. Change your name, Cal. Oh, Detective Monroe. I solved the serial. I solved the serial killings of the well earned Ting family. I've got a major problem, Detective. Tell me about it. I, 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 I've, I've been locked alone in this house for months, and I don't know who's going to help me, but there seems to be a bit of a, a murder going on, a bit of a murder. Mm. It's not me. Someone was murdered underneath me. Right underneath me. As in, as you were standing above them, someone I murdered was you? I was not standing above him, and he was below me. He was below me, I heard gunshots, I heard three of them. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to do because I've been stuck in this house for months, months with the corona, you know, the coronavirus. Well, could it be if you were the only one who heard the shots and saw it happen? <gasps> How dare It must you. be you. It wasn't me. Don't even say that. That's not even fair. Nobody, nobody knows who did it. It definitely wasn't me. She, now, who, I... she who heard the bullet dealt it. <laughs> I don't really know how, as a detective, you can immediately make claims like that, and that that's even something that you can legally do. You know, I would imagine I, you'd, you'd want to get prints or something. Prints, you know? I see it. I see it all in my head. I see, I see the red string connecting all the pieces. You call me here. You try to frame somebody else. But really, this whole time, it's been you. I solved a case just like this last week. Sir, I don't know how you got your job or what your credentials are, but that can't be true. It just can't be. I'm telling you, I didn't do it. I'm innocent, innocent, I tell you. Wait till okay. I go to the cops with this. Uh, you are a cop. Confess, right. Ginny, Ginny confesses. All right, I must confess something. I've got to be totally honest, right before you go, please, please. I, I did it. I didn't do it though. I didn't actually kill him, detective. What I did was poison him, which nearly brought him to death, but it wasn't that simple. Ah, uh, let me guess. A classic case of cat and mouse. He was trying to kill you, so you decided to kill him. Well, that's exactly right. That's weird that you guessed that mm. just right off the bat. I don't know if you knew that. You, Jenny breaks down in tears. <laughs> oh, I, I, I'm telling you, I'm just, I, I'm just an absolute wreck about this. An absolute wreck. I don't know what to do. Here's I, a I tissue. Told my friend. Oh, thank you. Take this oh. tissue. Oh my God, the tissue. Help me! Don't don't take me to jail, please! I'll do anything, please, please. <laughs> <laughs> Well, 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 what do we have here? A killer at large? Now, what would the government and the office, the officers do about that? Now, you could be in big trouble unless you do me a favor. Are you willing to do me a favor? Anything, anything at all, anything, please. I don't want to go to jail, please. All right, so what I need to do is kill the man below me with the same bullets. He's been bothering me and he has these dogs that won't stop barking. Is it a deal? Deal. I'll be there in a minute. Just send me the address, detective. And Sounds cut. like a plan. Okay, and cut. So I'll be the director in this one. And you guys is, um, your genre is drama. Okay, but like uh, soap opera. Soap opera acting. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> and um, let's see. Steph, you are a, um, you just came back from the dead. You've been off for like two seasons and somehow you've risen from the dead and you're coming to Clayton to, um, to like tell him your love for him. And he's mm -hmm. now married with kids. So it's making okay. it very complicated. Okay. And yeah. let's get a round of applause. <laughs> <laughs> Mary, go take care of the children, as a good wife does. I'm going to sit here and sip scotch in my study. <laughs> Hi, Donald. Uh, Clayton, can we see you sip your scotch for a minute? <laughs> Hi, Donald. Jessica. You're, you remember me? Of course I remember you. The first love of my life. The last person to break my heart. I thought you were dead. I was. Last night, something happened in the pond. I rose. And now I'm back. There's unfinished business, Saffron Mate Donald. And I need you to listen. I need you to help me.
get pregnant. Stop! Stop! What are you saying? Help you I'm get saying pregnant? I can't leave until there's a fetus inside of me. I tried putting a fetus inside you every morning and every night for 25 years. <laughs> it's not my fault that you can't take a... It's not my fault you're barren. How dare you? We never did it when I was ovulating. You know that. <laughs> what am I, a period I... cracker? <laughs> I, I know that you found love and I know that you have a family now. Look, but I'm here have... to tell you that no. that love never ended for me. And I will haunt you till the day you die. So tell me this. Are you dead or alive right now? Are you a ghost or is this really you? I'm in the lair, they call it. <laughs> Don't give me this hogwash, churchy, wurchy bullshit. Are you a ghost or are you a human? I am a human and I am alive. I will be sent back to the dead once I have my baby. <sighs> so the next time you die, two have to die. That's right. Clayton, <laughs> have an emotional reaction to this. A really strong reaction. Your wife is coming in. She's knocking on the door outside. You're having a really strong reaction. God damn it, Jessica! <laughs> you come here when my wife is knocking on the door to tell me that I must impregnate you so you can die and kill my baby? You psychopath. You've always been a psychopath. Down to all you want. That's always been something that turned you on. What? Okay, wait, Seth, talk to his wife outside the door, see if you can get her attention. Maggie. Maggie. Maggie, it's me. Do you hear me, Maggie? Maggie, ignore that. <laughs> Seth, go bigger, go bigger, go bigger. Try to get her TV. attention. Maggie, it's me. It's Donald's ex. Can you hear me? Maggie, <laughs> I love YouTube. <laughs> you shut your Maggie, head. listen to me. He's not a good man. <clears throat> he cheated on me and he'll cheat on you again. Do you hear me? Maggie, listen to me. I'm alive. I'm alive, Maggie. Ah. Sorry, Maggie. My computer is having an issue. You listen to me. Okay, Maggie comes in and catches you. She catches you both, okay? What are you guys doing? Steph, I thought you were dead. I'm not dead, Maggie. I've been trying to explain to Donald. She's come that was up. an affair. No, 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 you listen to me. She's Don't listen a... to me. No, you listen to me. Don't listen to him. No, okay, you... what the fuck is going on, all right? Just Harrison, you... Harrison. I leave you for one minute. I leave you for one minute, and you're back with your dead ex. I don't know. Is that what he, she calls you, Harrison, when she's ag angry with you? She his gets. name is Donald, Maggie. You never knew him like I, I call did. him by his middle name, okay? Donald Harrison Ferguson the <laughs> third is my name, and you all know it. I'm pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. If you're That's pregnant, funny. she's dead. You can go die. That was the rule of the lair. That is the rule. Things change. That what the fuck? You have a. This is weird, Harrison. I'm gonna leave for a minute, and I want you two to figure <laughs> this out, because I don't. I don't want to be in the middle of this. I'll talk to you in 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 thirty minutes. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. Maggie. Wrap it up, Harrison. You have children. Ma Okay, yes, dear. Love you, Maggie. <laughs> On my nightstand, there's a cup of semen. <laughs> I'm just telling you that. Sorry I can't get you pregnant. Every time we were trying, it's because I was shooting blanks. The cup of semen is what I've been using to get my current wife pregnant. <laughs> I can hear you. 
Oh, shit. I, I'm right outside the door, Harrison. I'm recording everything. There's nothing you can do now. I'm due in three months. Time has passed in my, in my layer differently than it is in your atmosphere. I can't afford another child, Maggie. You won't have to take care of it. I will just haunt you for the rest of your days. Fine. I love Halloween. <laughs> and scene. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> thank you so much for watching uh, Monument Productions Broadcast Relief for um, Corona. Thank you, Steph. Thank you, Clayton. Thank you, Kelsey, for joining us. Whoop, whoop. Make sure you guys like, click the PayPal link below, click donate. It's not click that hard. and like and share. Boo, yeah. Bye. Bye. Yeah, have a good one. Okay. Bye bye. Why don't you guys drop out of the screen? Go ahead and drop out. Okay, okay, okay. Stop. This has been Monuments Production.